Hey there Libra, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how your person feels about you. How they feel about uh, your relationship, how they, feel, how they see you, and where your relationship is going, how they view your relationship. Uh, we're also going to take a look at how you are seeing things as well. Okay, then we're gonna go, going to get an angel number, so make sure to stick to the end so you can get that angel number and that divine guidance, okay? So, remember that the roles can be reversed, so take this how it resonates. You may want to also take a look at your person's sign, if you know their sign as well. Um, but this is a timeless reading, so it's meant for you when you see it, okay? So, for your person, we have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshines my soul. Okay, for you, we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others. But I can't expect it from myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, so there, there may be an issue with your person's health. They may be looking at more ways of taking care of themselves. They may be just getting over an illness. Um, they may be just looking at a better lifestyle choices. Okay, and I feel like, you know, you are looking for more honesty. Maybe they're not being honest in their choices or, you know, some kind of situation. But I feel like, you know, you can't expect honesty from everyone else, but you can expect yourself to be honest with yourself. Okay. So there may be a need for you to show honesty in this situation or for them to show honesty there's some some kind of truth that you're looking for okay let's take a look at your person how is your person feeling at this moment what is going on with your person let's take a look okay this one okay we have the knight of wands so your person may be very busy. How they see you is the strength card. And where they see your relationship going is temperance. Okay? And how they see, how you see your relationship is the world. So I feel like there's a lot of lessons in your relationship. You may have had to make a lot of choices in this situation. There may be there may have been some difficult decisions that you needed to make. Um, but I feel like you've learned these lessons. Now you feel like this situation is, you know, moving to the next cycle. It's moving to the next level. You feel like this situation is a reward. Like your person is, you know, the only one in the world for you. Okay? And I feel like your person is very passionate, very giving, very assertive. And I feel like your person is taking some sort of action to bring more happiness into your situation. Okay? So I feel like there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of strength, a lot of patience, and a lot of, you know, adapting. Okay? Your person's energy right now. I feel like they're in pursuit of some sort of situation. He's moving towards the health card here. So I feel like they may be in pursuit of, you know, gaining better health. You know, really working on themselves and a better lifestyle. Um, I feel like they may be very um, challenged at the moment to achieve this goal. But I feel like, you know, they view you in this relationship. They view you as being very strong, very capable, very fearless, you know. And I feel like they need that in their life because they view this relationship as a gift, as a blessing, as something that is going to bring a lot of balance, a lot of new perspective 
okay so they're kind of seeing you as the nurturer in a way okay so that's beautiful energy and like i said i feel like you you view this person as your world you see this situation going to the next level going to a new cycle a new venture Okay, I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons in the past about a situation and you're ready to start this new cycle with this person, this new uh, feeling of achievement. You know, you're willing to set new goals, make new um, achievements and accept the rewards of them. And I feel like that's how you kind of view this person as some kind of reward, some kind of achievement. Okay, let's get some clarity on this reading. Tell me more. Why is this Knight of Wands here in their feelings? Tell me about why this Knight of Wands is here for the way they feel. Okay, we have the Lover's card. Look at this. They love you, Libra. You are a love to them. This may be a Gemini. This may be a Leo. You know. Um, but I feel like, you know, they love you passionately. They see you as someone very strong. Okay, with the strength card, we have the two of wands. So I feel like this person can see them growing with you. They can see things growing. And kind of planning for the future. You may be planning for the future actively or thinking about the future with this person. But I feel like, you know, this person sees you in their future. They see you as someone very special. Okay. We have the uh, Knight of Swords. So I feel like this person has a lot of patience. But I feel like this person likes to talk. They love to communicate. They love to tell you how they're feeling, what they're thinking, what's going on, how their day went. You know, I feel like this person likes to talk situations out. They may get very passionate about the things that they're saying. But I feel like this, you know, when I'm getting that card, I feel like they, they're like ready to talk a mile a minute. Okay very interesting and i feel like you're kind of open to this communication libra because you know you're you're an air sign as well so you're very intelligent you kind of go with the flow of things but you know you're looking for that balance that you know feeling of being accepted so I feel like you are very open to the communication. You kind of feel like this is a soulmate situation for you. Okay. Give me an outcome for Libra. What is the outcome? What can they expect? Okay. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. Wow. And the Three of Cups. Okay. The bottom we have the king of cups beautiful this may be a water sign that you're dealing with maybe a pisces scorpio or cancer but i feel like you see this situation growing into something very beautiful very stable very loving very tender um i feel like you're this is like new emotions new feelings just bursting through for you because you feel all this growth happening um and i feel like you're gonna have a lot of time for celebration this month there's gonna be things that you're celebrating things that, that you're sharing with others i feel like you're you may be surrounding yourself in a social setting with other like-minded people sharing your feelings about your mate or just socializing and getting out there taking time you know going on dates going on dinners with your with your um with your person okay so i feel like this is beautiful energy here with this king of cups at the bottom wow this is very supportive energy i feel like you and this person are on the right track for change for healing you know for 
sharing the things that you need with each other. You know, this is balanced. This is balanced give and take. But this is also good fortune happening for you. Okay, Virgo? I feel like a lot of good things are happening for you and your person. So that's very beautiful energy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, angel number and see what is going for Libra. Oh, okay, this one wanted to come out. Okay, so we have 666. Don't be afraid of this number. This is an angel number. Reflection. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It's time for you to look at your beliefs and ask, is this serving me or is it time for me to release this? Reflect, refocus, and readjust. Your affirmation, as I refocus on what serves my highest good, I feel myself shift into my highest self. Okay, so the Spirit is letting you know to reflect, refocus, and readjust. Okay, focus on what is no longer serving you. Let go of those beliefs and focus on what is there for your highest good. Okay, so beautiful energy, Libra. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising and Venus sign for love in your March playlist. Uh, you'll find that. And um, you can also take a look at your person sign if you want more clarity on the situation or if you feel like this reading may be flipped in some way okay so until your next reading libra many blessings to you love and light